come join along on the adventure today as we go back to our 1700s plantation. We're going to be doing something a little different today. We're going to be running our uh, XP dais, the original dais with the elliptical coil just to see if we can sneak out some things uh, running it at 30 kilohertz and using dais fast. Uh, so we're going to use it today. Uh, haven't used it in a while, almost three years, uh, but we're going to run it on this relic site and just see if we can eke out some targets that uh, we might have missed with that smaller coal. Um, the other thing is we are going to be using our Deus 2 with the 9 inch coal and we haven't done that uh, in a while but uh, should be a great hunt. This is an awesome uh, permission that I have that is just loaded with 1700s artifacts so come along for the ride. I think you'll enjoy it and again if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. And this should be a great adventure on a 1700 site. This site dates all the way back to 1740, uh, one of the earliest sites in this area. It's right near the river, and um, there was a lot of activity that was going on around this plantation. So stay tuned for the adventure, and we'll catch you guys really soon on the first find. Okay, we just popped our first hole out here today, and guys, we are running the HF elliptical coil on a property that we've been over a few times with multi-frequency machines. We wanted to just see if we could find something, and guys, the first hole turns out to be this beauty, and you guys can see it right there. We've got a nice early colonial button and uh, it's really cool. Nice little shank on the back in great shape. A dome shaped button actually too. And the single frequency locked in. We're running at 30 kilohertz out here running day as fast. Our reactivity set at 3. We got our discrim set at 6.1. And we got our silencer at negative 1. So there we go. Alright, we'll catch you guys on our next find. Let's see what we got here, guys. Down in this hole. Get our pinpointer here. And and we got us. We got us a button. So. That locked in pretty good. It was ringing up a, right around a 60, I believe, on the XP Deus. And uh, it sniffed that button out. This is a nice, high quality button. A little bit of design on it, but um, it sure did. So, again, we're just playing around with single frequency today, running 30. We've hunted this place with multi-frequency machines and just seeing if there's some things that we might be able to pick up running a single. So um, the HF elliptical coil um, really does a great job, especially in this heavy iron and uh, picking out signals like this. So we'll take that and we're going to move on. Okay, we just popped this hole. We're again running the elliptical coil, HF coil. We've got our Excalibur shovel down here 
and we just popped this button out and guys you see how small this was swinging the that hf coil just uh for going and trying to clean up behind other machines and seeing seeing if i can sneak out a target so you know for whatever that's worth but uh we're having a ball swinging the dais and um it's you know it's still finding things and we've been over this this site quite a few times with the mana core and with the dais too and um you know you can still find things with single frequency i don't, I don't think anybody would argue with that it's just it's just really strange you know when you come back in here and and you start finding stuff with uh, these single frequency machines and we're running at like i said we're running at 30. i thought about jacking it up just to see but um i'm probably going to whip out the days too for these next few holes and see what i can find with it with the nine inch coil because i haven't really run the nine inch in here and uh let's see if we can sneak out some more stuff so stay tuned and again we're on our favorite site and it's a beautiful day here it's a nice hawk flying up there sky just a beautiful day to be out metal detecting and enjoying ourselves okay we just got a uh 56 58 on the xp dais 2 and um we're um we're running our sweeper program and we're exploring around uh, we've been running the elliptical coil on the regular dais uh, for the last hour or so. And uh, now we switched up to the 9-inch on the dais 2. And uh, down here in the hole, you guys can see it. Right down here. We just got us a small flat button tomback. It's in really good shape. You guys can see that. See the back of it. Nice big stand-up shank. And, um, again, sweeper program locks in on it. Just to let you guys hear it. 56, 55 is what we got. It's pretty low. Probably because of the materials it's made out of. But, uh, again, day is two locking in on these targets. And, uh, can't wait to get a hf coil for the day is two which is coming soon so stay tuned anyway let's see what else we can find maybe we can get lucky and find a coin or a military button or something along those lines but um right now we've dug four flat buttons so far on a site that we've hit pretty good and uh we'll see what else we can find okay we got a 68 69 we just dug a bunch of, of bolts but look we got us a beautiful tom back button it would just pop get it in the sun here see the nice shank on the back we can see it raised it's got that nice dimple right there in the center but again we dug two 68 67s and they turned out to be bolts and this time the 68 67 turned out to be a time back button so there you go uh, it's about quarter size Definitely late 1700s early 1800s And uh, the site just keeps giving up stuff Okay, we had us another mixed target with iron and down in the hole. We just popped this out Got us another quarter size flat butt running the dais 2 with the Sweeper program. I think I nicked it with my shovel guys can see it there nice beautiful tomback button again colonial site late 1700s early 1800s and uh we're popping targets with the dais too uh, we're gonna continue our hunt for a little while longer and see what else we can find but again just having a good time being outside for the first time in a while uh, as far as metal detecting goes and all right guys we got a 73 74 it's got a good sound to it hopefully it's not a shotgun shell which i don't think it is i don't think this one is tough roots right here trying to, trying to cut through i think we, I think we got through most of that we can get whatever this target is out. It's a 
a 70 now and it's got a good sound to it come on baby and let's see and huh got us a weird piece of lead what we got huh interesting weird piece of lead don't know what it was for definitely a cool little artifact okay we got 68 72 70 it's a little jumpy using the sweeper day is two nine inch coil let's see what we can get here this is we've already hunted this site with the 11 inch and the nine inch on the mana core as well as the 11 inch on the mana core but we have yet to hunt it with the nine inch on the dais too so that's what we're doing today and we started off with the elliptical coil the hf coil just to see what would happen with it 68 solid this sounds like a button and hopefully we can get it out one of these scoops hopefully that's it let's hope so let's see Nope, we didn't get it. Oh, I swear. I'm having to maneuver around a big root here. See if we can get this target out. Still down there. Let's see if we can find it with the pinpointer. See if we got it with that. Just pulled out a scoop. And that's exactly what we got. Got us a button. Okay, I'm gonna have to clean this one up. This is definitely something I've never seen before. So let me uh let me clean this up and see if I can get something off of it. Okay, I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so far this is our find of the day. This is a lead bag seal. I thought it was a button at first. In fact, I almost thought it was a South Carolina button. Uh, but you can see there's design on the front. I'll have to clean it up a little better. And once I do, maybe I'll put up a picture at the end of the video. And then on the back, you can see the company um, that produce this uh, textile that or cloth that was shipped in from uh, London you can see London clearly on the bottom of this bag seal so we'll clean that up but those are always super cool to find here in South Carolina and uh, once we clean it up we'll see what kind of other details we can get off of it and maybe some identifying marks to tell us where this actually came from so again day is two was doing the work Sniff this lead bag seal out of these woods. Can see. Uh, we're right near where we've hunted a bunch already, and it was a 1700 site. And um, finding all kinds of colonial artifacts and buttons, and uh, this lead bag seal is the find of the day so far. Okay. Okay, we got a 85. This one is a little bit suspect. We're gonna dig this though. Um, sounds like it could be mixed with iron. And we just dug a beautiful lead bag seal right before we dug this target, or we started digging this target. 
Let's see what we get here. Let's hopefully, hopefully something good in this dirt is really good here. Let's see if we got it out. It was an 85. Now it's an 89, guys. Oh my gosh. What in the world could this be? An 89. Sounds like it could be a coin. Well, it's not a coin. It is a it is a buckle, a D buckle. Wow. Had a had an iron prong right there too. But we'll take it. Nice little buckle. All the way back from the 17 or early 1800s. Okay, this one's got Got a low tone to it 54 56 repeatable signal we're gonna dig this one see what we get and hopefully it's something good definitely a weird sound to it I don't think this is I could be wrong let's see and this is this has a this has got something on it too we're definitely gonna have to clean that up it's a it's a button boy it's got a weird it had a weird sound to it not sure what is on this? We'll clean this up and see if we can get anything off of it. It could just be a design. I don't believe I see any numbers. But there's definitely something on it. We'll take a picture of it and give you guys a better look. It's definitely made a pewter very early and it could be a button it's just crumbling apart okay we'll get something off of this again another cool find it was a low number 54 56 really low so we'll clean this up and we'll see what we get off of this one but a great find go for Okay, we got 66, 67. Sounds really good. We're going to get this out. 1700 site. We're digging all kinds of nice 1700 artifacts. A lot of tomback buttons we dug today. Now we dug a nice bag seal. We dug an old, really old pewter button that does have some design on the face of it. Can't wait to clean it off to see what it is. And uh, then we got this signal. Let's see what this is. 65, 66 here, guys. Let's check this out and see what we get. We got it. It is a small flat button. Let's see if there's anything on it. I don't 
think I see anything on it. But we're going to make sure. See what we have. Looks like just a plain flat button. There's where the shank went in. I don't see... I don't believe I see anything as far as design goes. But pretty cool, small one there for sure. And we sniffed that one out. Okay, welcome to the wrap up here. And we've got uh, a few of these finds. Of course, we found a lot of buttons. Most of these, uh, these right here are about a quarter size. Um, they were Tomback buttons, early 1700s. Uh, we found two of those that are about the quarter size buttons. Then we found a few that had some really nice design. Uh, you can tell that this one was definitely worn by someone who uh, probably had a lot of money, uh, as well as this one too, with the design on it. Uh, definitely different style uh, you don't normally see. And then we found uh, a couple of really small uh, flat buttons that are what I consider to be cuff buttons maybe, or shirt buttons, uh, but very small. Uh, those types of buttons. Uh, this one I'm really curious about as it is um, it is definitely an old button. Uh, it's pewter and it does have a design on the back. Uh, you can tell that um, this one is probably mid 1700s or somewhere in the 1760s or 1770s. It's definitely in that range but definitely an old button. And uh, again another sort of dime size button that we found with a nice shank tom back uh, that was a good one uh, we found us a buckle which you see here a d buckle had a little bit of design on the outside up here at the top uh, furniture tack and another dime size flat button definitely a nice one and probably the find of the day is this this lead bag seal which you guys can see here and I haven't cleaned it up yet um, but it's uh, it's got it's got writing on the back which is etched in so we're gonna look at that and then it's got that it was made in London on the back of the bag seal and it's it's really nice you guys can get a good close-up shot of that and then look at the etching on the back of it and um, this one's in really good shape, so I can't wait to clean it up and see what I can get off of it. But um, those were our finds today, and we had a ball out here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine buttons, a buckle, a furniture tack, and a, la and a lead bag seal today. And we used two machines. We used the Deus One with the elliptical coil and we used the Deus 2 with the 9-inch coil running our sweeper program. Our Deus 1 was set up on Deus Fast, um, and we were running our reactivity at 3, and our silencer at negative 1, and uh, we were running the discrimination at 6.1, and we had it set at 30 kilohertz. And uh, if you want to see the sweeper program, you can check out some other videos, but uh, it's the basic settings that we always run with the sweeper. So uh, go check that video out, and we'll put it up above right here, right now, so if you're interested in the sweeper. But again, great hunt on a 1700 site. We had a ball, and uh, can't wait to come back. We're going to try to get back sometime this week and uh, see if we can find some more great artifacts. So you guys take care, and thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it. Have a great one.